Hello everybody, good morning. Mike Schluter here. We're gonna get out this morning and uh, shoot some photos of this great fog and great light very early morning, and that's actually what we're gonna talk about today. Getting up early, getting those photos, those landscape photos, when the light is magical, it's at its best. Uh, it's well worth the effort, trust me. Uh, if you typically like to sleep in, get up, get you some strong coffee, get out and try this, and you're gonna be hooked. A uh, couple of things we want to talk about. This light changes very fast, so typically you need to be on site well ahead of the game uh, and kind of have an idea on where you're going to set up your camera and, and have things kind of ready to go when, when the light show happens. Uh, one of the key elements uh, to this whole process is some, whoops, not a pen, some type of a flashlight. These things are worth their weight in gold. They're incredible to not only navigate maybe the terrain as you get to your spot, uh, but to check camera settings while you're shooting externally, uh, if you drop something on the ground or whatever the case might be. Don't forget these. These are very important. A um, couple of other items. Tripod, essential. Cable release, essential. Your camera. I shoot low ISO 100 or 200. I shoot in full manual mode. I would recommend that uh, you capture in JPEG, high-res JPEG and RAW file format if possible. Uh, it gives you total flexibility after the fact. If your camera does not shoot both of those, uh, capture it in RAW and learn how to do it in RAW, process in RAW, or capture high-res JPEGs. If you get your exposures and color on, you're going to get some great images either way. Don't get too wrapped up in some of that stuff. Just get out and make pictures. Anyways, what we're going to do is I typically would set up, find my composition. I photographed this oak tree many times, and if you have a, an attractive area near you that you can get to quickly as conditions and, and seasons change, key in on that and go back repetitively, and you'll be rewarded with some, some great images. I typically make my composition, lock in focus, turn off autofocus. I already have started with the low ISO. I pick an aperture that gives me the depth of field I want. Here, you don't need much depth of field, but I think I'm probably at F11. Meters are useless in this kind of conditions with all the fog. It's gonna throw it haywire, so don't even, don't even fool with the meter. In fact, I never use them anyways. Uh, set a sh pick a shutter speed, any shutter speed. You're in manual mode. Set a shutter speed, make an exposure. See where your, uh, where your exposure values fall. If it's, uh, if it's too dark, adjust accordingly, uh, meaning open your shutter speed up from say 1 60th of a second to 1 30th of a second or 1 15th of a second and kind of progressively monitor as you go. If the image is too uh, light, then you're going to shut the, close the shutter speed down, make it faster, say from 1 60th to 1 1 25th and so on until you get what you want. And within that, I would bracket, get, give you some different variances in your, your, uh, your ba light balance. Uh, shoot, shoot some brackets above and beyond what you think is normal. Just to, you'll have them to, maybe for an HDR photo or, or it might have a, a special area that you want to paint in with Photoshop layers after the fact. A lot of different, give yourself options. Anyways, as you can see as we're talking, this light is just changing, changing, changing. So uh, this is something that when you get going, you need, to, you need to rock and roll with it. Set up, start making your exposures, and, uh, and then once you feel you've covered that, if there's other compositional changes or variations to the scene, uh, I recommend uh, play with it and, until the light's gone. It happens quick. So get out, have some fun with this. You've got to get up early. Uh, you're going to have so much fun with this. I hope these tips have helped you with your, uh, with your photography and early morning. Get some great landscape shots with that magic light. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Mike Schluter, and I look forward to seeing you next time.